All right, we're going over to uh, Mike Apple at the 680 Business Center, Mike, and continue to figure out what is happening with Bombardier and how this is all going to play out uh, for the aerospace uh, sector, of course, here in Canada. The tables turned very quickly last night, Melanie. Indeed, good morning with Airbus announcing this deal with Bombardier that will see the European aerospace giant take a majority stake in the C-Series project. This is Bombardier's baby, if you will, that, uh, you know, has cost it so far $6 billion. It has had limited sales and is now the center of a massive trade dispute with Boeing, which uh, got the U.S. Commerce Department to slap a 300% tariff on any C-Series planes shipped to the United States. With this deal, Bombardier potentially could avoid all that because Airbus can move some of the production, have some of these C-Series planes built at an existing facility that they have in Alabama. So right there, Boeing, you know, raised this whole thing uh, a little while ago. I got into this fight, fight with Bo uh, Bombardier, and now all of a sudden it's got the heft of Airbus, its biggest competitor, uh, you know, right into the marketplace. It, it raises all sorts of questions, though, of course, about, um, you know, how much money the uh, Canadian government and the Quebec government have already put into the C-Series, how they're going to get money back. A billion dollars spent by Quebec so far protects some jobs. Uh, raises some questions about a European player coming into the Canadian aerospace industry. Uh, Boeing certainly doesn't like this at all. They've already issued a statement blasting the deal saying that these are uh, not one but two uh, companies that are uh, heavily state subsidized and that's this whole dispute that uh, argument that Boeing's been making at the trade uh, World Trade Organization that uh, there shouldn't be any state subsidies on aircraft sales. Now, of course there are. Uh, for all of the players. So a lot of this uh, still has to work its way through the market. Uh, Airbus stock, incidentally, up 3% this morning in Europe. Bombardier should get a lift on this as well. Other news of the morning, well, we're watching Netflix hit a record. It's at uh, 207 and change in pre-market trade this morning after the video streaming service announced 5.3 million subscribers added in the latest quarter, even as it's been raising prices on a monthly basis. And uh, next year, the company's going to spend over $7 billion in original content. We're also coming into today's trading session with Wall Street looking at yet another milestone, potentially for the Dow Jones Industrials average, which is only 44 points away from 23,000. We'll send it over to the studio.